Why do we get stuck with New Year resolutions? When we step into the new year at the end of an eventful previous year, it is quite natural that we want to start the new year afresh on a positive note and never have we failed to make concerted efforts to better ourselves so that we will be better of in the ensuing year. All over the world regardless of religion and countries people do make resolutions to get rid of irksome habits and move forward with a new spirit. A few days before the start of the new year provide us a good chance to make new resolutions to improve our self-image and attitude in the society and in the family. Unfortunately, in the present social scenario New Year resolutions have lost their sheen and they appear to be useless because they are old-fashioned and outdated. They are not favored among the present youngsters who are independent and do not take such promises blurted out by them seriously and there is lack of commitment among them for obvious reasons. It is not that easy to give up on our habits overnight. Do such oft-repeated or over-expressed New Year resolutions work accordingly the way we plan and do miracles? The answer is no and in many cases there is no steadfast adherence to change of habits that we are hooked to for a long period. Such resolutions are either broken midway or poorly practiced and consigned to oblivion in the long run within a month into the new year. Losing weight, or doing regular exercise, or giving up smoking are some of the common promises taken a day before the new year and preponderance of people are unable to stick to the promises. So are the habits of smoking and drinking which are passé or old-fashioned. According to Charles Duhigg addictive or habitual habits are endemic to brain and not easy to give up easily as they are connected to the brain. However, you can slowly get away from habitual habits like drinking, smoking etc. With resolute mind by way of rewarding yourself. For example if you smoke 15 cigarettes a day you reward yourself with chocolate or something if you take only 13 a day. Then you can increase the quantum of reward and reduce the number of cigarettes over a period of time. By way of rewarding yourself your mind that is programmed to certain number of cigarette a day will slowly lose its grip on the trigger mechanism. Your basal ganglia act as synaptic relay station between neurons in the ganglia. The information enters the ganglia and excites the neurons. In the ganglia and then stays there. The habitual automatic mechanism will get reduced as the ganglia need more reward. This step by step will help you cut down the unwanted habits. Taking New Year resolution as an old concept and instead youngsters can explore new ideas with altruistic mind, the art of giving and not expecting anything in return like social service, helping stray dogs, planting trees, etc. On the professional side, do not postpone your work, avoid work related to multitasking. Focus more on your work and self-image. In the midst of all, stay connected with your family and their needs.